Okay, we're still writing slope-intercept form. That's y equals mx plus b. Okay, and we know that we need a number for m and we need a number for b. So the first thing we're going to do, since we have two points, is we're going to use that formula, y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1, to calculate the slope. So I have my xy and my xy and my 1s and my 2s. And so I'm going to have negative 2 minus, from the formula, y sub 1 is negative 5, divided by x sub 2 is 5, minus 0. Five, uh, 2 minus negative 5 is 7, 5 minus 0 is 5. So the slope is 7 fifths. Then we need to figure out what b is. Okay, well, you can use either one of these points to figure out b, but if you know anything about the y-intercept, you know that the y-intercept, the value of x, is always 0. Just like on the other problems where we wrote down that you start at b, it's 0 comma b. This is the value of b. It already gets given to us because this is 0. So putting it together, I'm going to have y equals 7 fifths, because that's what the m is, x, and then b is negative 5. And then number 25. Same process to begin with. We need m is equal to the change in y over the change in x, which is y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. We've got xy, we've got xy, 1s, 2s. Okay, so we're going to have y sub 2, which is negative 4 minus, because that's from the formula, and then whatever y sub 1 is, which here y sub 1 is negative 5, divided by x sub 2 is 5, minus, because that comes from the formula, whatever x sub 1 is, negative 5. So I have negative 4 minus negative 5, that's positive 1, over 5 minus negative 5 is 10, so my slope is equal to one-tenth. This time I do not, I was not given the y-intercept. So I will have to use what I have so far. I so far have y equals one-tenth x plus b. And now I know that these are both solutions to the equation I'm writing. So using one of these two, for x and y, I can solve for b. So if I have y sub 1 is negative 5 equals 1 tenth times x sub 1 is negative 5 plus b, I'm going to have negative 5 equals 1 tenth times negative 5 is going to be a negative 1 half plus b running out of space. Okay, so then I'm going to add one half to both sides. When I add one half, I get negative 4.5 is equal to b. So then putting it all together, my slope was one-tenth and my y-intercept is negative 4.5 which is the same as negative 9 halves. So, putting it together, I get y equals 1 tenth x minus 4.5, or I could write y equals 1 tenth x minus 9 halves. Either one of these would be fine. You could also even call that 0 0.1, 0 0.1 x, but you would have to, if I asked you to graph, you'd have to change it back into a fraction. Okay, still on slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. Okay, we need to know m and we need to know b. Well, they are telling us that we write in this form through this uh, point, negative 3, comma 1. And that is going to be parallel to this line. 
So the first thing we need to do is figure out the slope of this line. The slope of this line is 1 8. Parallel slopes are exactly the same. So the parallel slope is also 1 8. Then I need to write the equation through this. So I'm not given the y-intercept. I will have to plug and substitute numbers in to figure out what b is. So I'm going to have y equals 1 8 x plus b. Substituting my values in, I'm going to have 1 equals 1 8 times negative 3 plus b. 1 equals negative 3 8 plus b. I'm going to add 3 8 to both sides. So I'm going to get b is equal to 1 and 3 8. And now putting it all together, I have y equals the parallel slope is 1 8 x plus b, which was 1 and 3 8. Okay, and now I've got um, same thing, I'm writing y equals mx plus b. I know that it needs to be parallel to this. Alright, so the slope of this line, this is a vertical line. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is the vertical line, x equals 5. We know that the slope is undefined. So here, the slope is undefined, and slopes that are parallel are the same. So the slope here is also undefined. That means I have to come up with an equation that is in x equals a. Because if I'm writing a line that's parallel to this vertical line, I'm writing another vertical line. So it's going to be in the form of x equals a. And it's going to go through negative 2 comma negative 3 negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. So it's got to go through that point. So I'm drawing a vertical line. I'm writing the equation, rather, for the vertical line that goes through this point. So there's the vertical line. No matter where I am on this line, the, uh, the value of x is the same. It's negative 2. This is the line x equals negative 2. And then finally, I'm going through this, but I am perpendicular this time to 2 thirds. So the slope of this one is 2 thirds. The perpendicular slope is going to be the opposite reciprocal. The, this is positive, so it's going to be negative, And the reciprocal is going to be 3 halves. So, so far I have y equals negative 3 halves x plus b. I need to figure out what b is. I need to use these two values for x and y. So I'm going to have 5 equals negative 3 halves times negative 2 plus b. Negative 3 halves times negative 2 is going to be a positive 3. 5 equals 3 plus b. Subtract 3 from both sides. I get b is equal to 2. So I know that the slope is negative 3 halves, and I know that b is positive 2. I need to put it all together. Okay, there's those.